Welcome back to Bedanza Disc Golf. We're finally back throwing Frisbees, not in a tournament. Don't worry, I did just play around with my bag and did some field work, still working on it. But we gotta try out some new discs. You know, we can't stop doing that. Big shout out to OTB Discs for sending out wave two of the OTB Open MVP drop, which has mostly mids, some putters, and a couple fairway drivers. But we're back here at Valmont Disc Golf Course where we reviewed wave one and we shot 11 down. So we're gonna try to match or beat 11 down. And hold number one, we're starting out down this hill, 192 feet. We're gonna start out with the deflector, which some of these stamps look incredible. Just like with wave one, the way that it's gonna work it on this front nine, which is mostly short holes with two really long ones, it's gonna be one and done. So once we throw this deflector, I can't throw it again on the front nine off the tee, and then the back nine will just choose whatever discs. Hopefully we're at least three to five down through the front. Give us a good chance to actually get super under par. Super beefy, so leave it out there flat. Only 192 feet, hopefully stick it down there for a birdie to start the round. Maybe an ace? <laughs> That's two for two in this challenge and we almost aced off the first throw. Almost meaning like within four feet. So kind of close. These discs came out, I think a few days back, maybe last week. Um, didn't get a chance to throw them yet, even though OTB sent them out because I was planning for my tournament and playing in my tournament. So a lot of the videos are gonna move into being a lot more tournament based and play based, obviously, but I still like playing with new discs. It's just something refreshing to keep disc golf exciting when I'm both trying to pursue pro disc golf as well as do it as a full-time job, just with content here. This deflector is like super beef. We have two discs here. We have an ohm as well as a total eclipse envy. I think this is also like a Proton Ohm. I'll check that out in a second, but this Total Eclipse Envy just means that the rim and the top are glow. A little headwind, wow, come on. That's disappointing with the Ohm. A little headwind just push it straight out there. A little left side though, we can blame it on me. I was watching Iceberg TV's video on this, Dylan over there, he was throwing these with Broderick, and they were saying that the Ohm is like a max weight glitch, so. Maybe I should post Envy instead of the Ohm, because it kind of just like got held up in those chains. And I really want to go in them very much, even though I think it's max weight. Proton Soft Ohm is that the Ohm is 2501. Super interesting. I think for this shot, straight up the hill there, we're going to go with the Echo. I got this one, it's got dolphins on it. It looks super cool. This is 55 negative 1.51. And I heard that this is like a really good disc. I think it was in like, MVP did like a challenge thing last year. And this was one of the discs that was in it. Oh, it's not as flippy as it says. We still gotta look, but I thought that'd be flippier than like a buzzer's Pathfinder or something. Seems like equally as stable. I'm gonna try this deflector on this forehand line too. Oh, that thing is so beefy, holy crap. I honestly probably just shorted this a little bit, but I think we're gonna be putting with the Envy. The Ohm honestly feels wider diameter, but it's not, it just definitely feels like a, like a one and a half speed almost. Like not even quite a two speed diameter. Pull three, 162, super shorty, but we have some real shorties coming up soon. So we're gonna actually throw, I think, Matrix on this one. It's like a neutron swirly kind of Matrix. Looks super cool, unicorn stamp. I took this one out because we're gonna throw it on forehand. I've heard it's like a, kind of like a reactor. Not a lot of glide, so it should handle some forehand. This is the disc that Simon first aced with from MVP. In my last MVP video, I got an ace, so probably should get an ace with this one just to commemorate Simon, you know? Oh, a little short. Dang. Two down. All right, this is the ace hole, but we do have a double man on this one, so we're definitely throwing the ohm. Man, these discs are so fun. I love playing with new plastic. All right, straight up there, 156. This is one of the holes I've been saving the putters for. Could throw the uplink as well, because there's an uplink in here, which I haven't thrown before. You guys have said it's really good, but this definitely feels pretty soft, this ohm. Proton soft deflector, proton soft echo, proton soft ohm. They're loving that proton soft right now. And hopefully we just get it through this double mando. I'm guessing it's gonna be dead straight, so just throw it right at it. And super glidey, two, five, zero, one. Tailwind coming up this hill. Go in. No! That's so good. Three down. This is basically a jump putt hole. It's 144 down there. I'm trying to think if I should keep any of these for any shots. This is the shortest one left, so we'll throw the Eclipse, oh, total Eclipse Envy, excuse me. I really like this stamp. These have been some really sweet discs. I also didn't show you the ohm yet. Man, I'm just loving these artworks. That's one of the reasons why I like running custom stamp stuff because you just get to do some fun artwork on it. I'm excited to do some more in the future, but envy straight at it. Would love to ace it, but I want to keep my score pretty good. So we'll give it a little soft bid. 
Oh, and by soft bed, I mean throw it way left. Oh, it's so bad. Don't you just love it whenever you say you're gonna give something a soft bid and you end up just like throwing the softest shot that's ever been seen on a disc golf course? Stay up. Par town, dang it, three down. Seems like there's a lot more MVP this time than Axiom stuff. Seems like there's a lot of Axiom last time and there's a lot of MVP this time. All right, basket straight through there. We're gonna go with this interesting framing just so we can see the basket so that I ace it. Oh, they don't even show this one. It just looks like an eclipse uplink. Let it turn, glide under the basket. Oh, so straight, so nose up. Why did I do that? There we go. Who needs a good drive when you can putt decent? Every, everybody still does. All right, we got two driver holes coming up and only two drivers. So this last one straight through there, like 200 something, 174. We're going Proton Hex. Super interesting that there've been three hexes between the two waves. We're gonna go on the forehand, just try to split the center gap here. That wasn't the center gap. All right, looks like it's a circle two kind of day when you can't hit your line. Stay up. Dang it. Come on, dude. All right, hole eight, 360, all the way down there. You can probably barely see it over the fence. This is like the hardest hole to shoot. There's always a headwind on this hole, so it's a good thing we have the Eclipse 2.0 Flare. Max weight, very overstable guy. It kind of honestly just feels like a faster Firebird, so I feel like I'm gonna like it a lot. Oh, that is so stable, whoa. Holy crap. Yeah, not even, not even close. It is, it is way more stable than my Firebird is. Holy crap, it's like, that's like an adult deflector. All right, I'm gonna try to get a hex there. Oh yeah, that hex bombs. Maybe the Matrix? Nah, Matrix is too too slow. Or too not glidey. This Echo might have to put a little more hyzer on it. <clears throat> yes. Oh, it's freaking almost parked. I think both the hex and the Echo are inside the circle. Ooh, forgot I can try out this uplink. Into a headwind. More hyzer than the world has ever seen. Oh, it just stood up the whole time. Oh, that's inside the circle too. I've gotta be throwing mids on this hole. What am I doing with my life? All right, my distance was pretty spot on. I think a little more turn, and honestly, I didn't, I didn't quite throw it as hard as I could have, because I thought it'd act more like my Firebird, so I threw it like a Firebird. It is way more stable. <laughs> this is a max weight glitch. It's going in the basket. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, this really isn't bad. This is the uplink. Matrix definitely has a higher wing and it's definitely slightly more stable, but mostly less glidey. Oh, thank you for staying in, buddy. Woo! Making good putts on this basket today, I guess. And for the last shot, we have a Cosmic Neutron Tesla, which honestly, for Teslas, feels relatively stable, but they're pretty fast nine speed, so I think we might be able to get there. We'll definitely be able to give ourselves a circle two look as long as I hit the line clean, but we should be able to get all the way down there. Throw your hand down. Throw in the air, throw your hand down. Ah, two nose up, two slightly too high. It's a pretty stable disc, man. Dang it. Dang, that's wild. This thing is pretty stabs. Getting that high rate with that Tesla had to be pretty perfect to get it there. Just threw it a little too high, which means that once it gets hit with that wind on that side, it's just gonna stall instead of keeping pushing forward, unfortunately. But we should have like a circle two edge, maybe look, maybe circle three, but hopefully circle two-ish. Dang, these winds definitely got a little swirly because up here, it's definitely a headwind. And back there, it felt like it was a tailwind. So it doesn't quite make a ton of sense, but maybe like swirls in this way from both sides. I think too, the, the blade of this guy is so high or the, the wing gets pretty high for like a 9.5 negative one two disc that once it like gets a little nose up, it just really stalls. Nah, oh, too low. Trash. Just do that, what am I thinking? <laughs> All right, this is the hole from the last video. 
We're gonna go a slightly different play than last time, but ooh, first let me show you some of these stamps that I haven't shown yet. This is the, the flare right here. Pretty sick. Constellation-ish. All these Eclipse ones seems to have some sort of constellation theme. This is like a peacock one with the uplink. Kinda wanna try a forehand flick with that one, but we are four down. We need seven of these back nine. So we can only miss two. I think for this hole we're gonna go with the Envy. It could go with like a hex or something, but it, this Envy honestly seems like it's slightly glidier than my other Eclipse Envies and slightly softer. Especially, I'm, I don't know if it's because of the rim, but the ones that I ran with my Shattered Advanced Stamp are slightly stiffer than this one. That'll play. Perfect little park job. Oh, 11, par three, 300 feet straight ahead of us. I think it could just be an ohm straight at it, but the wind always gets squirrely on this hole and I always like mess it up for some reason. It's a pretty easy hole. Kind of want to throw the uplink at it as well, just because if I miss it a little bit, it'll be a little more forgiving. So I think we'll go uplink. Shorty, man. I never get this one right. All right, this isn't like terrible, terrible, but this is not one that I should be leaving outside of like 15 feet ever. That was a bit of a scary putt to need to make in order to stay on track. All right, I think we're gonna go ohm for this one. Straight ahead of us, 195. Slight ante at the basket and let it like settle right underneath it because there is a drop off behind. So I'd rather stay in front of this one. Ooh, just missed that drop off. Definitely kind of shank that a bit. Should have been more like this. Oh, that's such a bad shot with the uplink. Pull that guy. Aim towards the basket, you goober. Straight ahead of us there, 210. We're gonna go a little crazy since we got a unicorn on it and throw the matrix just on a hyzer. Might be a little deep, but should be pretty good. Spoiler alert, it wasn't long. All right, seven down, hole 14, 160 feet straight ahead of us. You'd think, oh, obviously the Ohm or the Envy. Silly Goose, this is a Tesla shot. Why would you even think otherwise? Just another like matrix into the chains. Under the basket is acceptable as well. Light headwind. It's not a Tesla. Oh, uh, now I have to birdie everything. This is just a couple lazy putts. That's all that is right there. Thought this was fun in games time. It's not, this is serious time. Hole 15, I need to get all four of these birdie out. I'm gonna go home. <sighs> I can't believe I missed all those stupid putts. Now I gotta be serious. Whatever, just a park job. Lame. Boring, not even fun. It's with a disc you'd expect me to throw. So boring. Hole 16, 247, head left to right. Super boring. Could be the hex, could be the envy. Got a little island hole. Super boring. Did that skip off the island? Well, that is super rude. Can't even argue anything, it just popped right over the edge. Looks like we're having fun again. First shot here, I think we're going MV straight at it. Gotta ace it, gotta believe the putter's on, contrary to all. Do you mind, Mr. Glider? Oh God, thank you. Oh gosh, circle two putt to make, baby. Move this out the way. Thank you. You are the one, aren't you? <laughs> All right, we're gonna unload the clip on this one, but the one that counts is gonna be the ohm. Gotta go for it. Stay right, stay right. Oh, better than I expected, but that's gonna be a punt. Turn, hot. Too short. What do I have left? Deflector, flare, Tesla. Deflector, skip base. 
Oh, it's so short. Oh my gosh. Do it. Weak sauce. I'm gonna rank these after I make this last putt. No, it does matter. I short it like a ding dong. Oh, I was outside the circle too, dang it. I've been just not stepping those like 38 footers and I've been making a decent bit of them, but not that one. Nine discies right here. Let's go from the least favorite to favorite. And these, this, just to let you guys know, is a guaranteed ace list. So the ones that are at the bottom of the list guaranteed to get less aces than the ones at the top of the list. I'd say my least favorite disc out of these, I think it's probably gonna be the flare, unfortunately. I think the drivers, Except for the, I think the trance was okay. The panic was sick last time, but this flare is all right. You guys can throw it out. I think they're just watching me. You guys are good to throw. It's in my bench by the last hole. Yeah, flare and Tesla. Neither of these, I was the biggest fan. I think the Tesla's always a little more stable than the numbers suggest, which a lot of people like. I think especially Cosmic Neutron, I think is pretty stable. So this one is kind of a beefy Tesla. Beefy little nine speed, great shot. Park job, maybe I should have done that. I like the stamps on these guys, but they're kind of lackluster compared to some other stuff that we got going on. Not bad, but not my favorite. I think next on the list is gonna have to be probably the Hex. I think I really like the stamp. I really, I mean, all these are sick, so it's kind of hard to say, and this is very subjective, but I think the Hex is the next one for me. It's cool, but I don't know why we needed three Hexes and two drops, honestly, especially when there are so many awesome Fission Hexes with the Shattered Van stamp. Like, why do we need another Hex? This is this is probably actually at the bottom, if we're being real about it, because there's just so many cool Fission Hexes at danzadiscoff.com, shameless, kind of shameful plug. Uh, I think, Next is gonna be the uplink. I think this was fun. It's kind of just like a slightly flippier origin to me. I really like this disc, um, but it seems a little touchy for kind of a flippy disc, especially like once the nose is slightly, slightly up, it does not want to turn and ride like a lot of other flippy discs will. Even my origin, I think a nose up origin works better than a nose up uplink, even though the uplink is flippier when you throw it nose down. So that makes it a little bit more finicky. I'd say personally, probably just threw it bad though. Next, I think I'm gonna have to go, man, this is tough. I think Echo, I wanted to put this higher. The stamp is cool. I honestly kind of like it a little more than the Hex especially up here at elevation it seems to get just a little more flip up and play and a little bit more glide and this is such a gummy plastic i really like how that feels followed up i think by the ohm also very sick disc i really like this colorway and it flies really nice i just got a little bit inconsistent releases because of how thin it is as like what i would say is like a one and a half speed so it is definitely like a slightly bigger glitch a slight it feels a little shallower even than the glitch and a slightly wider diameter number three i think we're gonna have to go i don't know why i'm keeping the deflector so high but i think it's gonna be matrix i like this disc a lot mostly because of the stamp. Not necessarily how it flies. I just really like the stamp. Similar to the deflector. I also like just how crazy stupid beefy it is. I don't think I would ever have a need for this disc in my bag, at least not right now, especially up here in Denver, but I really like the stamp. And it's just a lot of fun to throw because you just get wild lines. And it's one of those discs where you throw it, you're like, what the heck is happening? And just in an excited way. And then the best disc I think personally is the Total Eclipse Envy. I think this is the best disc, best chance for aces. For sure, guaranteed. If you wanna check out wave one, check it out right down there. A little more electric, a little bit better scoring, and definitely not an ace that I definitely didn't tell you about a bunch of times. Go check it out. Subscribe to the channel. A lot more videos to come this week. <sighs> I'm gonna go get some food and relax though. Okay, love you guys. Bye.